Coach, uh, just your thoughts summary on the 90 minutes? Um, not much to say about the game. Um, I think it was a good final for, for the supporters. Uh, good advert for, for NetBank. Um, and then, of course, we scored early. And they scored the last goal and, and won it. So um, I'm extremely proud of the boys with the stride ma strides made this season. Um, so much accolades, so much achievement. So um, I can't be bitter about this result. I'm, I'm sure there will be more finals um, with the progression in the team. But um, other than that, yeah, you wake up in the morning um, with expectations. And the day starts with expectations. and. It will end with experiences, and we'll take the experience tonight. Um, yes, it's not a, a, a good feeling, uh, quite a bit emotional, and but but we learn from it. Um, other than that, congratulations to to Orlando Pirates, and uh, yeah, second trophy in the in the season. So well done to them. Um, absolutely fantastic season for for Pirates. But um, yeah, we learn from it, and I'm I'm extremely proud of the boys. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Let's take questions from the floor. Do we even have a microphone? Okay, thank you. Uh, let's start here. Let's see Grasha. Hi, Coach. Well done. Good to the final. Um, not really a question, but a question. Can we talk about the penalty? No. No comment on it. <laughs> on it. I think there was a, um, an episode two weeks ago with Ace. And also Victor addressing it, so it's incidents like that. So um, um, if I go into talks now, the Gracia would be sounding better. And I, I, I don't want to go there. Um, congratulations to Pirates. So, yeah, thank you. Okay, there was a hand here. I saw more hands. So let's give Lorenz here. Yeah? To all the Kentonians today. <laughs> We've adopted Lorenz, so this is the job. <laughs> I love to see the pre-match about Ria Baia, double decker pass, and your style of play over the course of the season. But um, obviously, you made it a spectacle. Everyone here. Uh, what was the thought process behind you know, playing that? You know, expansively, openly, and you regret it. Um, not too sure tonight. Um, that is us. Um, to shoot, um, I think um, two two weeks ago against Pirates um, in the league, um, that was us managing um, the suspensions, the fatigue, and and the injuries. Um, what you also saw tonight is the flexibility of tactics uh, and adaptation and understanding uh, of all the players. I've seen it along uh, about the puzzle coming nicely together, <coughs> and um, the players. Um, I can't ask more, more from them. Um, they adapt very quickly. And I said it also, it's a, it's a bunch of coachable players and what more can a coach ask for? So, but, but that was us tonight. Um, we've been on the front foot. Um, when we do close it down, it's about managing the game. Um, in the last 15 minutes of, of the first half as well, uh, we, managed it, we managed it nice. Um, even now with the D block or, or the block of seven, we, we had chances to come out. Um, the last goal conceded, we were in, on transition. I think it was a 4v2 moment and then we lost it. And it ended up in the back of our net. Um, but it's the, it's the second time this season something like that happens, so it's something to work on. Um, for a coach, um, these are things you look at, it's, these are things you want to improve on. And hence I'm pretty confident we'll, there'll be more finals to come. And, and this is us going forward as well. Quick one there, Maskepe, I've noticed you at the Yeah, Maskepe from Pirate, I think uh, a bit to the contrary to what Lauren was asking, because I think in the second half I could count maybe more than seven balls that were hooked forward and you guys could not win the second ball. Why was that tactic used when you could not win any second balls in the, in the Pirates' half? And then there was a situation as well with uh, Salim always left out on the wing even after Lamin was put into playing the half spaces but you guys defended Naro. Why was there no one to pick Salim who was always drifting out next to the touch line and the diagonal that came as well went to him when he was alone mm. uh, on the other side. But I'm sure you would have seen it because yeah. on the other side. No, Why no. was he not picked? No, definitely. Um, there was some diagonal ball from Sabisi in the first half as well. Um, 
our, our tactic was was never to go long. Um, but the pressure in the situation dictates um, how we should be playing. There was some good um, situations where we could have passed it out. Um, um, the decision-making process is always with the players. Um, as a coach, you create some um, patterns in terms of which pass to pick. But um, I think about the pressure um, in Pirates brought, um, they were forced to kick it. Um, you could see with the one, but or one or two with Badra as well. Um, he was forced to kick it out. Um, and there was one mistake as well. We would pass back. So yeah, um, the situations forced us into into that. I mean, um, we wanted to be on the front foot, but also getting behind him. Um, the ball the ball was well read by the Pirates defenders, and they dealt with it. And of course, when you push up and you're in a straight line, I think our midfield was too high. That's why we couldn't pick it up. Uh, I think in the first half we picked up some really good balls from us and from the Pirates defenders as well, and we could go forward. But it was never our intention to go that way. But um, like I said, now it's it's learning, it's learning processes. Once we throw the long ball, it has to go somewhere. But um, we there was no accuracy or lack of accuracy in that pass, and and Pirates dealt with it. Um, they did very well in that aspect. And so with Salang, on Salang on the side, ah. There was no joy on the Tia side and I had to, to move over and the crosses came in. Um, yeah, there was no direct route for me uh, um, in goals. You saw Lords in the first half also dropping deep, uh, playing in front of our midfield, uh, no threat whatsoever. Um, but there was one ball in transition and they managed to get it in behind us and Lords ran onto it. Um, a cross uh, that ended up in the back of our net. So, so yeah, um, no joy for him and he opted to switch sides. A good ball from the turnover and yeah, cross that ended up in the back of our net. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it in next season. Tsepo. Thanks, Vajin. Coach, Tsepo uh, from ENC had luck in the game tonight. But uh, Coach, what, what, I'm interested to know what did you say to the players, especially at halftime, more especially after that uh, questionable penalty decision to ensure that, I mean, the players don't come into the second half, you know, mentally weak and thinking about that, you know, emotions could get high. What do you say to them to make sure that they are stabilized ahead of the second half? <laughs> there was... Uh, I, I can't repeat what was said. <laughs> Because of, of TV and, and people here. But um, yeah, it was quite emotional. I, I think I also lost it. Um, the, um, but yeah, um, we we tried to, to take that decision. We tried to take that moment as well and then feed off it. Um, that was key for us. Um, yeah, but of course, one or two tactical things we had to sort out, um, especially with the overload on, on Moby's side um, in the first half, and then of course the, the diagonal ball from Sabisi. We had to be on the front foot, but um, what was said, of course, was the tactical issues that that just means so now. And of course, um, take that decision, take that moment, and let it grow. We came out pressing quite aggressively, and um, that's what we got from it. But um, yeah. Um, again, no, no comment whatsoever uh, on the penalty. Um, I'm sure the, the media and the guys uh, in the studios will, will analyze it and they, and from there we'll, we'll have an informed decision. Last two questions, starting with uh, Nati there, Limpopo in the house. I'd love to the results. I know you wanted to win this cup, this cup title. Coach, I hear that uh, you were denied an opportunity to train here yesterday. I just want your confirmation on that one. No, no, no. We 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 trained here. We trained here. Definitely, we trained. Um, yeah. I, I was yeah. also here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to confirm. Uh, I think I'm something. No, no, no. We trained um, uh, um, as competition rules, uh, one hour, um, and we trained the one hour. Yeah. Okay, KZN will close. Coach, um, his five trophies are going to fight for the next season. Uh, what, what do you need to do uh, for you to be confident in those games? Because we've seen teams in South Africa when they play the, in Africa, especially the Confed Cup, those who don't have a squad there, they started mm. to hold the soul, as we said, in the most previously. Uh, what, what, what are you going to do to ensure that you, know, you don't suffer the same fate? And also, do you, see, do you think, Coach, you are close to something magically good for yourself? I mean, Semi-final two now, I mean, uh, the internet, yeah, the Amazon, and then um, they now let the cup final. Do you think we are close to something good, you know, looking at the five trophies that you could compete for next season? Um, having a, a winning man, 
challenge here I would like to, to challenge on all fronts. Um, of course, challenging on all fronts and seeing what Maruma went through this season. Um, playing so well in CAF, but the, the domestic form suffered. We have to be mindful of that. Um, obviously, at, at this moment also, um, we have to be mindful of the squad size in terms of quality and in terms of quantity as well. Um, um, with the ambitions of the club being it in the second season only in the PSL, um, we have to choose our battles very, very carefully. Um, we have to uh, status to protect as well. Um, in terms of um, what we saw, what happened with Maruma, going uh, all the way to the semi-final and then getting relegated uh, locally. So, so yeah, um, our squad dipped. Of course, we need to rectify that. Um, there's challenges in there as well. Uh, we have some lone players as well. So um, we have to sit down now during this break and really analyze it and, and see where we can beef it up and, and strengthen as well. But at the same time, you don't want to blow the squad. Um, from the technical team, we have to manage the fatigue, all the travelling and all the games that will come. Um, we have AFCON, um, we have a Chan tournament, um, there's so many distractions also um, in the league or, or breaks in the league. We, If you can get to a break without suffering, I think that's good. And then we can recover and then bolt again and, and look forward. So how we manage the season is going to be important for us here. Just, uh do you think you're on a of something medical for yourself? Um, I've, um, I, I, I wouldn't like to, to speak about my, myself as well uh, in the Duke. Um, I would like to say um, I surround my, myself with people uh, that is very good in terms of experts in in our conditioning department, sports science and uh, analysis as well. So it's all not uh, about me. Um, also, my, my, my faith carried me through a lot, so so yeah, um, God didn't give me this one, but I learned from it, and I'm sure, I'm sure he will give me another one, so we look forward to that.